thanks for joining me. Another day here. I am out on the road. I'm going to go see the Hatfield Family Cemetery in West Virginia. As we get this adventure on the road, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, thumbs up on this video, and check out my playlist. I got a lot of content in there. West Virginia, wild and wonderful. Pinnacle Rock State Park. Look at this rock formation. Wow. Looks later than I thought. I was hoping to arrive by around noon. It's now 1.16, so I still have plenty of sunlight. That's the main thing. I wanna, at least I want to be on a highway by the time the sun sets. It's a much longer drive than I thought. These roads here get a lot of truck tra traffic. Right now it's like 2 220. The Hatfield and McCoys they fought and I believe the McCoy lived in uh, Kentucky and the Hatfield you know lived here West Virginia. So I don't know if I'm here or not. Well let's hope this is it. Captain Anderson Devil Anise Hatfield 1839 to 1921 is buried here. He was the leader of his clan and the bit of family feud between between the McCoys. The lifestyle statue modeled from photographs and imported from Italy marks his grave. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for that statue. We definitely got it up. Up the hill, these two were brothers, and they were uh, killed together on the same day over dispute about liquor. But they were shot by an Italian guy. They fired back and killed that guy. So all three of them died. There we go. Troy. Both died on October 17th. And here's the uh, matriarch of the family. That's a statue that cost about four or five. It cost the four or five cars today. Johnson Hatfield died 1922 interesting it's 
See Carl Ellis, West Virginia, World War I. Died in 1958. Very interesting that this cemetery is on this hill. Elliot Hatfield, MD. Ida, my mother's name. Ida Pearl Hatfield. 1937. Beloved wife of Willis Hatfield. Daniels Hatfield. The doctor. Several members of the family became uh, prominent members of the community. Of the community. Including lawyers and doctors. Killed by accident. Wise F. Kimmel. 1805 to, no? Yeah. 1905 to 1927. Wise F. Kimmel. K I M M E L L. Hatfield's here in 1999. Handsome Jack Hatfield. Jack A. Hatfield. Born 1922. Died 2009. Oh, here we go. The back of the statue. I thought it had... I didn't know why the captain's name wasn't on this statue here. But it is. Captain Anderson Hatfield. 1839 to 1921. Okay. Let's see who else is here. This is, this is like the Freemasons, or something like that. Correct me, somebody, but you see a lot of that in these older cemeteries. A lot of these early, early settlers that had money, that had tombstones when they got buried, had that on their tombstones. John Ugo Browning Jr. James Richard Browning, 1933, May 23, 1933, Browning, another family, oh, got the tombstones up here, got a few, it's a weird place to have a cemetery. It's amazing to see the cemetery on this hill like it's just going you can't really tell it's going straight up though when I got like tombstones just randomly scattered and these little trails that go off left and right so the main um, Hatfield cemetery is right there you know the matriarch of the family is and people surrounding him but you can go down here and there's tombstones and there's a hot field from the 30s over there um this is browning three four tombstones here just very interesting all right well that was a long trip but successful i made it it's pretty hilly here all right there, Captain Anderson. Georgia Hatfield. All right, Hatfield. He died in 1892. It was fun. Goodbye, Hatfields. Good workout right there.